People always want to know what certain blade lengths will look like on their dog. Hopefully this video will clarify that with images. I've divided all of our many, many options into six broad categories. Hi guys, my name is Colleen. Welcome to Good Dog Grooming. Couple quick notes. I have a companion video called Dog Grooming Blade Lengths Explained, which I will link in the description. In this video, I'm going to cover one length all over haircuts, meaning going from the shortest haircut to the fluffiest, longest haircut. We're gonna look at images in each category of dogs who have haircuts that are all one length all over the same length from the neck to the tail, including the legs. At the end, I'll show a couple of lamb cut pictures. So we'll kind of go over those combo lengths as well. Lastly, with all of these blade lengths, I am talking about going with the grain of the fur. So if you take any of these blades and go against the grain of the fur, the haircut does come out shorter. Okay guys, so what I've done is I've taken all the blade lengths and the comb attachment lengths and put them kind of in parallel. But what really ends up happening is, most commonly if I'm doing one length on a dog's body, I'll use the seven, the five, or the four blade, but if I'm going longer than that, I switch over to comb attachments. So those shorter comb attachments I don't tend to use, and the longer blades I don't tend to use. So we're just going with our most commonly used things. As for your body haircuts, I've divided all of our many, many options into six broad categories. The first category, surgical. These blade lengths, we don't shave a dog's body with. We do use them if there is an IV that needs to be put in or a surgery or whatever. It's to get the fur completely out of the way. We won't do that on a dog's body because if you do it repeatedly, it damages the follicles. I forgot to mention that some poodles do get a 40 on the body when they're getting a special poodle pattern, but that is a unique case and typically not done on pet poodles. You have to get the dog used to it and sort of build up the skin's resilience. And it's a special thing and I've never dealt with that. I only have ever done pet grooms. 10 blade is basically the shortest that groomers will go regularly on any dog. But I have many clients who prefer a 10 blade just as sh every time they come in, just a short shave down all over. 15 is kind of in the category, although it's a tad shorter than you would prefer to go. It's risky, you could be damaging the follicle but I sometimes use a 15 on a dog's legs if I'm doing a very short shave down. So I went ahead and put it in the category. These are great options if you're trying to go as short as possible between grooms with little to no maintenance. Summer short is probably our most popular. Seven blade, five blade, and four blade. I put them in the same category, but I would say seven is the most popular pet haircut. Still very little maintenance. You will see the dog's body. You can kind of make out their elbows, their muscles, maybe their bone structure if they're skinny enough. But if you wanna leave a little fluff on the body, then you're gonna be in this category here. Two comb, one comb, O comb. Now, if you wanna see a dog with a long haircut, then you're gonna want an A, a C, or an E comb. There are comb attachment sets that have a 1.5 inch and a two inch. So I went ahead and included those in that category. Now, scissor cut only, I put into the excessively long category. This is a very high maintenance category because there is so, 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 so much brushing. Still haircuts, but they would scissor all over. It takes more skill to do it. It takes more time, but some people want it. Now, lastly, if you are looking at patterns such as a lamb cut, I'll just quickly mention that a lamb cut tends to be shorter on the body and fluffier on the legs. And so what you're gonna be choosing between if you're shooting for a lamb cut on say a doodle is either summer short on the body and fluff slash long on the legs or fluff on the body and long slash scissor only on the legs. I'll go over more patterns and actually how to set patterns in a different video. But for now, I hope this was helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and share this video if you found it helpful. Thank you so much.